Hey guys, May here, and welcome to the 12th episode of K-Pop Comeback Updates. This week was an extremely crazy week. I have six pages to talk about this week, but a lot of amazing comebacks and a lot of stuff to be excited for for the next few weeks, so yeah. First, we're going to start with Speed. Speed released two music videos on the 7th of January, um, a drama version and like a dance version, kind of, sort of. The drama version is only about 13 minutes, which for CCM is kind of short. Um, begins with a shot of a girl crying in front of a wall of pictures, like a memorial. And in the middle of said memorial are two a picture of two boys who both died on May 21st. The two boys are the two main male leads. There's another girl who shows up, and um, they kind of look at each other. It, they definitely knew each other. You can tell that they knew each other. The music video is about the Korean democratization, more specifically the Gwangju Massacre, because both boys died on May 21st. The Gwangju Massacre was an uprising in the city of Gwangju on, from May 18th to May 27th, 1980. Citizens rose up against Chung Ju Hwa's dictatorship and took control of the city. I had to do a little research on like the event because I'm not familiar with it, and it helped the music video make sense to me. Basically, the soldiers um, that you see are on the communist side, and because of the people who are rebelling, they're like all tense, and like anybody who looks at them funny, they're gonna think, oh, they're gonna like rebel against us. We have to stop them, which is why you see them hitting random girls in the middle of alleyways, which is like a big part of the story. Music video story in a nutshell. There's two guys and two girls. Girl 1 gets attacked by a soldier and guy 1 saves her. Girl 1 and guy 1 fall in love. Meanwhile, girl 1's older brother, also known as guy 2, saves another girl being beaten up. Another girl is girl 2. Guy 2 gets captured. Girl 1 and guy 1 go on a date and after their date they see guy 2, um, girl 1's brother, getting captured with other people on the street and guy 1 saves him as well. It seems like they're not on the same side, Guy 1 and Guy 2. I really don't know why. As soon as Guy 1 brings Girl 1 home, after that whole her getting attacked and him saving her, he's like, oh, like, you're gonna hurt my little sister. And the girl's like, no, 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 he saved me. So I guess Girl Number 2 and Guy Number 2 fall in love as well. Later, Girl Number 2 is recognized on a bus and is taken. Guy Number 1 witnesses her being taken and he calls up guy number two and his crew and they all decide to go out and kill some people or like beat up some people and get the girl back. The music video ends in a, with a bunch of soldiers shooting a bunch of civilians. Um, guy number two gets shot. So yeah. Apparently guy number one was supposed to die but you don't see him dying so I wonder if there's like another part of this music video that we haven't seen yet. The dance version is basically a shortened storyline with dance shots as well. I believe only three members sing in this. It's a super great song. Um, I really like it. Um, yeah, so go ahead and check out that music video if you haven't already. It's super amazing. Um, I recommend watching the whole, the long version first and then watching the short version because I did the opposite and I was a little confused. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. That is Next we have Kim Sodi, and Kim Sodi released her dual life music video on the 6th of January. Um, the song is just as upbeat as the teaser. I guess it's supposed to be her transformation song from like her hip hopness to maybe the new her. From the lyrics it really seems that way and a lot of people were disappointed with this new thing that she's doing. And I guess she wanted to try pop though, like she's allowed to do that guys. A couple of the lines that are really like, I don't want to be trapped in the boundaries that I created, now it's the beginning. Don't look for the me trapped inside of you. It's kind of like saying, don't expect the same me that you saw two years ago because that was two years ago and I've changed since then and I've grown as an artist and I want to try different things. So yeah, I really like the song actually. Um, a lot of people were disappointed with it but I never knew Kim Sorty before so yeah. Go ahead and check out the teaser, a little teaser I'm going to do for that music video and the entire music video. It's mostly dancing. Um, 
I don't know, I think it's really colorful and really entertaining, so go ahead and check that out. Next we have Beast and A-Pink, and they released a music video for Five My Baby on the 9th of January. It's really addictive, that song. I've played it so many times. I'm not sure if everyone sings, but I think everyone sings. I'm not positive, though. I know all the Beast members sing, but I don't know the A-Pink members all that well, so I'm not positive everybody sings. I just, I really love the choreography, and I really love everybody looks super amazing here, except why is Dong Woon wearing glasses the entire time? Because I want to see his eyes. Korea has like the best advertisement songs ever, I swear. Super great, I love it. Not much else to say about that. Go ahead and check out this extremely cool music video for um, a clothing line. A little teaser coming up next and there will be a link in the description for the entire music video for you to see. <laughs> Next we have Boyfriend, and Boyfriend released Aya on the 9th of January. It's produced by Sweet Tune, which is one of my favorite producers in K-pop. They produce a lot of Infinite stuff, they produced um, Talk That for Secret, they've done a bunch of stuff, but I love Sweet Tune. Music video has a storyline, and it took me a couple watches to quite to kind of figure out what the storyline was, but that's because I was kind of busy watching Young Men and Jung Men first couple times. Basically there's three boys in this 13 year old girl's life. Jungmin, Kwangmin, and Donghyun. They all have like their different positions or titles or whatever. Donghyun is like her big brother. Like he plays that role because he's always protecting her and always worried about people who are around her and if they're gonna hurt her or not. Jungmin, I can't decide if he likes her or not. I think he might like her. He definitely wants to get closer to her. The girl definitely likes him. She definitely wants to hang out with him. And they have a lot of fun playing in that band room, but then once they're in public and Jungmin's with his friends, he kind of pretends like he doesn't know her and that gets her all upset. And then we have Kwangmin. Kwangmin's kind of like that guy in the background, not exactly involved in her life, but he always seems to show up. He's there when she gets in trouble for being late to school. And he's there when she's all like upset about whatever, waiting for the bus, and he gives her a ride on her motorcycle. I, I get to go next, right, Kwangmin? But yeah, and so I guess he ends up winning in the end because Donghyun cannot be seen as more than a big brother, and Jungmin completely ignores her. Um, I really love the song. I had this album pre ordered. So look forward to an unboxing of that album. There's one other new song on this album I have not heard yet. It is a repackage of their first full-length album. So all of the songs from their first full-length album are on there. And then you have two new songs, Aya and the other new song. Go ahead and check out this music video. I really like it. I really like that there's a storyline. Go ahead and check that out. <laughs> Next we have Prepix featuring Yosub, and they were, came back with When I Get Paid on the 9th of January. The music video starts off with the same scenes of the teaser, the exact same thing, and Yosub is not in this music video unfortunately, um, but yeah, these guys are seriously amazing dancers and like, I want to dance like them. There's really no continuation of the story, but the dance is supposed to be the continuation of the story, so you don't see any more like, scenes, but you see they're dancing and yeah. The dance is really entertaining to watch, like I actually totally forgot that there was no continuation of the story until I finished the music video. It's a really nice song, Yosob is seriously a singing machine and I love his voice and yeah. So if you haven't seen this really cool music video yet, um, go ahead and check that out. There's a little teaser coming next and the link to the entire video will be in the description box. Oh. <laughs> Next we have Infinite Age, plus Hoyo, who's not in my room still. They released their special girl music video on the 10th of January, and it features Bumpkey. 
I cannot express in words how much I love this song. I have been replaying the music video and the song since it came out. They both look amazing. They both totally just destroyed my entire bias list in Infinite, which wasn't much of a bias list to begin with anyway. I personally like both the live and the music video version of the song. Music video version features Bumkey. Bumkey sings the chorus, which is the only real singing part of the song. But in the live version, Dongwoo sings the first chorus, Hoya sings the second chorus, and I believe Hoya sings the third chorus as well. Basically, this music video features a girl. She's a model. Um, I couldn't remember where I'd seen her before, but she was in Teen Tops to You music video. It's a very cute, like, I don't know, a really fun music video, really colorful. I was laughing throughout this music video. It's just, it's so enjoyable to watch. Both boys are in love with this famous girl, but they get all nervous around her. Hoya is like an actor, um, and they're filming an action movie or something together. And then after he shoots the guy who has captured her, he runs up to her and he's like, I, I don't know, I'm nervous, I don't know if I can hug you. And it's really funny because after that the guy's like, hug, like this. Dong Wu, he has all these flowers and he pushes all these guys aside who are waiting outside her door and then he goes up to her and he's like, uh, run away. And Dong Wu is the only K-pop idol I know who will push people and then apologize right after. At the end they're much more comfortable with her, they're hanging out with her like in different shots and they... Like, Dongwu wraps his whatever scarf thing around her. I haven't heard the rest of the album yet, besides Without You. I'll try to listen to it sometime this week. I really want to listen to it. I have this album pre-ordered as well. It'll be coming with Aya. So go and look forward to an unboxing of that as well. Yeah, so if you haven't seen this music video yet, go ahead and go see it. It's amazing. It's cute. Even if you don't like Infinite, it's not Infinite style at all. It's Infinite H style. It's different. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. First we have BAP. They released a music video teaser for yet another comeback on the 10th of January. It's a music video teaser for their song Rain Sound, which will be released ahead of their album on the 15th of January. Music video teaser has some green blood. Apparently it's Young Jay's blood. Apparently Young Jay has green blood. Falling on a chair and a lot of very attractive boys crying. At the end, Youngook says, Nigana Jisuisuka. My Korean language understanding skills are very limited, but I think he's saying, will I be able to forget you? I think that's what he's saying. Not positive. You know, Jisuisuka. It reminds me a little bit of Dalmatian's ER just because it's like in a like a car accident scene, but it really doesn't remind me song-wise of much of the song. It's supposed to be an emotional rap song, so I feel like it's not going to be the same at all. I believe the entire mini album or single album or whatever this is is coming out in February, but that has not been confirmed yet. Knowing TS, It'll probably be end of January. If you haven't seen the music video teaser for this yet, go ahead and check that out. There will be a link in the description and a little teaser right now. <laughs> Next we have CM Blue, and they released two music video teasers on the 10th of January for their fourth mini album titled Re Blue. Um, one of them is a drama teaser and one is like a band teaser. Both start off with someone on the phone and a woman's voice saying in English, it's over, I'm sorry, thank you for saying that in English by the way, Jungkook looking at you. And then the band teaser goes to shots of the band playing their instruments and Youngwa and Jungshin singing, um, and the other two members Jonghyun and Minhyun playing their instruments. The drama teaser shows the four boys walking down the streets of London. And apparently this was filmed in London, like, when did they go to London? Album is coming out on the 14th, I assume that's when the music video is coming out as well. Let's go ahead and look forward to that. There will be two little teasers coming your way next, and links to the entire teasers will be in the description box. <laughs> Next 
we have two Yoon, and we had two teasers this week, two video teasers at least. Um, they released a random teaser of comedian Jung Kyung Dong on the 10th of January being drunk on an electrical bull. Cube, you troll. And then um, we had another normal teaser, which we'll talk about in a second. The mini album will be released on the 17th of January, and it will be called Harvest Moon. The title track, 24-7, is described as a country pop song. And they released a music video teaser of Gaiyun on the 11th of January. Gaiyun looks super pretty in this music video teaser. There's a lot of chickens, that's what I noticed, and playing guitar by a fire and all that fun country stuff. The song sounds pretty good so far. Country pop makes me think of Taylor Swift in America, so maybe it'll be something like that. But yeah, go ahead and check out those music video teasers if you haven't already. I really don't recommend the first one because it's kind of random. But the second one, Gaiyun looks super pretty and cute, so you should go ahead and check that out at least. Next we have Kim Jae Joon of JYJ. He released his Mind music video teaser on the 10th of January. It's kind of a strange vampire concept, but I think he fits it well. He also runs at some crows, and he wears some creepy masks in this music video teaser. It'll definitely be interesting. The album will be coming out on the 17th of January, so go and look forward to that. And here's a little teaser of Jae Joon's teaser right now. Next we have Vix, and Vix are coming back with their third single titled Don't Wanna Be an Idol on the 17th of January. They pre-released the song by the same name on the 6th of January, apparently it's not the title track. It's a soft, slow song with some beautiful acoustic guitar in the background, really shows their vocals. Basically the song talks about how this guy is trying to balance his love for his girlfriend and his love for music. And he's saying, someday when I become really famous, I will give you all the love that I couldn't give you before. I really like the lyrics to this song. Um, and yeah, the song really shows their vocals. They really have great singing voices. They also released some teaser photos on the night, as well as the video teaser for On and On, aka I'm Ready to Hurt. Music video teaser has some girl who's watching all the Vix boys come in, in with chains on their arms and blindfolded. Okay. And then the chains fall to the ground off of somebody's arms, we can't see their face, and that's the end. That's coming out on the 17th, um, there will be a little teaser of that song, and a teaser of the music video coming your way, so yeah. Go ahead and look forward to that coming out on the 17th of January. <laughs> Next we have Phantom, and Phantom released the first track off of their second mini album titled Phantom Theory. Keegan shared a short preview of Hide and Chic featuring Microdot. Um, it's a video that seems to have been taken on like an iPhone or something, or a smartphone. The boys are just lip singing along to it, and yeah, it's basically all it is. They're in, like at their photo shoot and they're like in the recording studio. Not much to it. I feel like they're going to be doing that for a bunch of the songs except for the title track. So yeah, go ahead and look forward to that. That is coming out on the 17th as well. And here's a little teaser of the little teaser. Tell me I'm next. I'm screaming so high, who gon' catch me on the low? Shoot my swag in the Gucci bag like a free flow. Well, the friend of all foe, I'ma put you on my guest list. Just you and me and see how far we can go. Never on vacation, but mine feels naked. Next we have My Name, and My Name released a photo teaser of their comeback on the 10th of January. Their official fan cafe was updated with a photo that read, Second single album My Name is coming soon. 
The fan site also allowed for fans to order the group's signed album until January 23rd, hinting that the album would be released in late January or early February. That's all the information I have on that, my name fans, but if you want a signed album, like, go get one. <sighs> Next we have Nine Muses, and they've revealed recently that they would be coming back with nine members for this comeback. The first time in three years, I think it is, that they've had nine members and the first time in 10 months that they will be making a comeback. Uh, the new member is named Son Sunga. They also revealed a teaser photo for their dolls comeback, I guess that's the name of the song, on the 10th of January. It'll be a single album, so I assume the title track will be called Dolls, and it will be coming out on the 24th of January, so go ahead and look forward to that, Nine Muses fan, that's almost like an entire year, so yeah. That is it for K-pop comeback updates this week. I don't really have a question for this week. Um, sorry. Just tell me what your favorite, like, what you're most excited for. Like, just tell me who you're most excited for. Um, my favorite comeback this week was definitely Infinite H. Following Close in second is Boyfriend. Definitely loved that comeback. My comeback that I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to um, Jae Jung's comeback because, or his solo debut or whatever, because like he's my DB5K bias, so I'm really excited for that. Yeah, go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments section below. If I forgot anybody, please let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Oh, that person, I can't remember your username, but I didn't flip it this time. I kept it just like this because my door is on the correct side for once. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, we don't feel embarrassed I just called you out, but whatever. Um, I guess I will be seeing you guys next week. So yeah, I'm really sorry to those people who follow my parody channel as well that I've not uploaded my I Got a Boy parody yet. Truthfully, I've been so crazy this week. Like, I really haven't worked on it all that much. Um, I plan on working on it a lot tomorrow, though. So... Maybe early next week, maybe like Wednesday or something, it'll be out. So yeah, go and look forward to that as well, if you are on my following me on my parody channel as well. If not, there's a link to that in the description. I always put that in the description box. And yeah, okay, bye guys.